So, I think I'm going to start a new thing on my channel, like a little writing, let you know what I'm writing about segment called, Would You Read This? Where, you know, I talk about my ideas, my work in progress, and, you know, let you guys tell me what you think. I think that'll be fun. I think it'll be fun to get to know what people are interested in, in reading, you know, and make whatever I'm doing better, you know, hear about tropes that people are tired of hearing, ones that they don't think they hear about enough. Um, do they think a specific name fits a character? You know, I've had that happen where I'm writing and I find that a name or something just fits one character better than another. A setting fits something else better than what I'm currently writing. You know, I think it's a fun way to get to know your readers and build, you know, a little community there. So, the first one... I should talk about is my work in progress, um, which I've just entitled Jackalopes for right now. And, you know, obviously you're not giving me too much away about what the story is about. It is about a woman named Guinevere. Uh, there's many characters in this, but it's all from her point of view. Anyways, there is Guinevere. Um, about a year or so ago, she broke up with her girlfriend for reasons, and she has moved back home. Her mother is a writer, mainly focusing on fantasy type horror-ish stuff. Her mother really likes creatures, like mythological creatures and cryptids. One of her favorites, possibly her most favorite, is the jackalope. And if you don't know what a jackalope is, it essentially is a combination between an antelope and a jackrabbit. Now, I have seen many variations of what a jackalope is supposed to be and a lot of times it looks like a smaller rabbit with like deer antlers instead of like a bigger rabbit and antelope antlers but still jackalopes and the mother kind of becomes obsessed with jackalope like they're one of her favorite things but over the last like few months or whatever she's been dreaming about jackalopes actually having nightmares about like jackalopes that just aren't right like it's already kind of unnatural to have a rabbit with antlers but these are even more unnatural and that's all I'm gonna say for that part right now so anyways they decide to go on a camping trip. A couple of them have to take off work and all that other stuff, but they decide, you know, it's good for them to just get out, get away from their work, and just be in nature, right? Because Guinevere has a brother named Sebastian, and he has a wife and kids named Clara. That's the wife. And their three kids are Anna... Ashley and Zoe and so all of them they decided to go on the camping trip and the mother ends up disappearing and it has to do with the jackalopes and that's pretty much all I can give away for right now without like giving away the actual story but yeah what do you think 
would you read about a woman whose writer mother obsession with something has made her disappear for whatever reason? Do you think jackalopes could be scary? I mean, I think they can be, right? It's not going to be like a a terrifying book. It's more going to be like a fun, spooky thing. Because I want to make this series sort of like an almost Goosebumps thing for adults. Like, not quite the same thing, because I plan on having, like, reoccurring characters, but, you know, something, like, fun spooky. Or sometimes even atmospheric spooky and stuff like that, but, like, little short books. Little short books is kind of redundant. Anyways, yeah, like, small books, like, Goosebump Length, that kind of thing. But, geared towards adults. I am playing around with the title, but I think it's just gonna be about the town. So far, the working title for the town is Phantomville. I think it sounds cool, but who knows. But yeah, let me know. Would you read something like that? I mean, I'm gonna write it anyways, because I'm having fun writing it. But, I would like to know who my possible audience is. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.